My name is Rick Schneider with Pietro Fiorentini. We're here today to talk about the operation, the maintenance, and the startup of the TRIOS regulator. The TRIOS regulator is an unusual regulator because rather than having a worker and a monitor regulator separately in the line, we use a worker regulator on top, a monitor regulator on the bottom, in one body. The TRIOS is a spring-operated regulator but gives you pilot-operated outlet pressure accuracy. The TRIOS incorporates what we call a balanced valve design. The way the regulator works is the red, which is the inlet pressure, comes into the regulator. And on the bottom of the regulator cartridge, we have a small hole and a hollow stem. The gas comes up through the regulator, through the stem, into what we call a balancing piston. The balancing piston area is equal to the weight of the, the spring and the internal components of the regulator, as well as the area of the orifice. So what we're actually doing is using the inlet pressure to operate the regulator and using the spring only to control your outlet pressure. This does a few things for you. Number one, it gives you very, very tight outlet pressure accuracy. The second thing it does is it gives you very, very high turndown on the regulator. The turndown is 500 to 1 on the TRIOS. The third thing it does is, let's say you have 100 pounds inlet pressure and 7 inches out, and your inlet pressure drops to 20 pounds with 7 inches out. As the inlet pressure drops due to the balanced valve design, your outlet pressure always stays the same, giving you very, very good control and tight outlet pressure accuracy. During normal operation, the monitor, which is generally set 10% higher than the worker regulator, the valve is wide open. The top worker regulator is controlling. If the worker regulator fails, the worker regulator valve goes open, the monitor regulator comes in and controls to your outlet pressure set point. The TRIOS regulator, like all Pietro Fiorentini regulators, is true top entry design for maintenance, which means you can always leave the main body of the regulator in the line and the regulator can be totally maintained without ever having to remove it from the line. The first thing we need to do to maintain the TRIOS regulator or to inspect it is to shut off the main gas line, inlet line coming into the regulator. After the main inlet line is shut off, we open a downstream bleed line to vent the regulator then it's ready to take out of service. Basically, the first thing you will do is disconnect the downstream sensing lines. The second thing we recommend to do then is to fully remove the spring to take all the tension off the inside of the regulator. The next step is that the only thing that holds the head on to the top of the body are these four bolts. You basically loosen the, the nuts up. Once the nuts are removed from the head assembly, you simply lift the head off. And then as discussed before in the introduction, we simply have the cartridge inside the regulator. You simply take the cartridge out. Now to remove the monitor head, we do the same thing. And you simply remove the monitor head. One of the things you'll notice too that we do to make things simple in the field, you'll notice the monitor head is marked with a monitor sticker and the control head is also marked with a control head sticker. Now we simply remove the monitor cartridge. Now if you need to remove the seat of the TRIOS regulator, you simply take a 46 millimeter socket, you put it on the bottom of the regulator, you loosen the seat, and then unscrew the seat from the regulator. 
you'll notice that the seat has two seating surfaces. The top surface is for the worker regulator. The bottom seat on the neural nut is for the monitor regulator. And for sealing integrity, the seat's sealed with an O-ring, which goes against the machine surface inside the body. To install the seat, simply take the seat, insert it from the bottom of the regulator, and turn it clockwise and thread it in. Okay, as the seat starts to get tight, you'll start to feel the O-ring compress. Just hook up your socket wrench to it. And there's no need to over tighten it because the O-ring is really taking up the sealing and compression. You just put it in and you snug it up. When you get a repair kit from us at Pietro Fiorentini, it comes with what we call a pizza box. So basically, when you open our pizza box, the first thing you're going to see is a numbered drawing. Okay, each component and part is marked and identified with a matching number. And then, most maintenance people love this, each O-ring, each part is tagged in numbers. The position reference number is referenced to the drawing, so it's really hard to get the wrong part in the wrong place when you're uh, working on one of our regulators. When we talked about the cartridge design before of the uh, DVAL regulator, the TRIOS regulator, you'll notice that the two cartridges are different. The tapered cartridge is the worker cartridge, which is the balanced one. The square cartridge is the monitor cartridge. It also has a slight hole in it because this cartridge is unbalanced.